Deep breath in. Let your belly rise and expand like a balloon. Drop your pelvic floor. Imagine a line passing through your vagina. It takes great mental energy and focus to move muscles that you've never consciously moved, muscles that you're not even allowed to talk about. I have vaginismus. Vaginismus is a pelvic floor condition where the muscles in my vagina involuntarily contract, making me too tight to penetrate. It's why I'm in my mid-twenties and have never had a boyfriend, <laughs> fallen in love, or had sex. Vaginismus reared its head when I started my period. When I tried using a tampon, it felt like I was trying to force it into a hole that wasn't there. It was just this tearing, <laughs> stabbing pain the worst pain I'd ever had. My mom tried to coach me through it. Oh, just put some Vaseline on it. It'll slip right in. <laughs> but I knew no amount of Vaseline was going to help. Something was definitely wrong. I learned to hide the secret very well. Psst. do you have an extra tampon? I carry tampons so I can pretend I use them too. I picked dresses with big, full skirts for proms because I had to hide panty lines and pads. For many years, I didn't know when my period was coming, so I RSVP'd no to pool parties and passed on going to the beach with my friends. visiting countless doctors who couldn't tell me what I had or how to fix it. They told me to just relax, which is very hard to do when you're bracing yourself for a lot of pain. Some told me to just drink alcohol when I wanted to be intimate with someone, but alcohol does not lead to looser muscles, only to bad decisions. <laughs> One told me to buy the skinniest candles I could find and try inserting those when I was on my period because I would be naturally lubricated. I didn't think I'd ever be able to do it. That's when the mean, nasty, ugly voice inside my head told me, you'll never have sex. You'll never fall in love. You'll never get married or have children. That's a lot riding on one body part. It wasn't until I was in graduate school that I was finally referred to a physical therapist who specialized in pelvic pain. I went to her office twice a week so she could put her hand inside me and stretch me out. She gave me a set of dilators to practice inserting at home for about 30 minutes every day. She told me to stop doing crunches and sit-ups. 
because contracting my abs contracts the muscles in my pelvic floor, making them tighter and harder to penetrate. She helped me realize that my physical pain and emotional pain are inherently connected. The physical pain makes me anxious about penetration and intimacy. In turn, the anxiety causes my muscles to squeeze tighter and tighter and tighter. It's not an easy cycle to break. But after a few months of physical therapy, I used a tampon for the first time. <sighs> now I wanted to achieve my next goal because I felt the clock ticking, the big V word looming over me. No one wants to be a virgin in their 20s. I'd been dating this guy for a few weeks and I decided to just get it over with. Stop. Stop. What's wrong? So... I have this thing. I haven't had sex before. Because I can't. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 There's nothing worse than being rejected for a part of yourself that you're working so hard to change. A part that has caused so much pain. A part that has pushed people away. Just because I can't have sex right now means I'm not enough for anyone. What if I never will be? I'm happy for my friends, but sometimes I have trouble finding interest in their love and sex lives. Most days, I don't think it's ever going to happen for me. Who would want to date someone who can't have sex? Huh. But if it is going to happen, it's going to be with someone who's willing to work with me someone who's patient and empathetic. Will he show up tomorrow? Six months from now? 10 years from now? Never? I don't know. But what I do know is that vaginismus, though it's been painful, has saved me from wasting time on a lot of jerks. All right, see you next week. Yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>